well hello there good morning again so i just also watched uh kakumeiki valvrave episode 3 or valvrave the liberator episode 3 so i will now make a small review about this week episode so mm, in this episode uh, there were two things three um that were or that were a little more developed and explained uh, the first one is about the condition of Aruto uh, and apparently it appears to me that uh, he already uh, is not human anymore that kind of makes sense because when when he activated valve, valve right there was an option on the computer screen saying do you want to resi resign your human condition yes or no he he clicked yes and then he was able to pilot valve rave so um, and apparently from what they show us in this episode apparently that's a condition that changes is on blood uh, so we kind of became like um, a vampire in some way uh, the question I don't understand is will he have a uh, urge to bite others but if he bites others apparently his mind is transferred to that body but I was thinking that that only happened because his own body was kinda injured so it's kinda um, strange um, the second situation is that uh, upper, uh, Jar is now uh, being helped by arrows and the objective is to evacuate all the students from that uh, planet or that mod module uh, so they are doing the evacuation procedures and they ask the help of Aruto because he kind of became the hero of the country and for all the students and uh, even for members of the Irish Federation apparently uh, so they ask him help to help in the evacuation pro pro process and to try to make all students be calm and so on um, so the guy, is, the guy became a Ruto became quite popular. The second situation is about El Elf. El Elf is handed over to, I guess, they are Arrows security forces, and he is in, he is unable, he is able to escape, killing all the agents and the soldiers, and he runs to the module, killing uh, all the soldiers he found, police officers and uh, even destroying uh, ships in space, that's kinda... but they explain that the guy is apparently a well-known Dorshan military officer that uh, a few years ago he also destroyed uh, a company by himself, so guy let's say he's a god of battle in some way then we have the situation Shoku is kind of sad because uh, uh, what uh, Aruto did in the last episode that when he was about to confess his feelings for her and I guess vice versa the sentiment I guess is mutual he backs that he backs down um, and she's being sad 
uh, she was talking with a girl with uh, dark hair called Lukino. Uh, it's a colleague, I guess. Uh, then we found that the, the the person that was sending all the video foot footage over all the internet is the sister of the student council president apparently and is kinda she is kinda apparently a uh, ikimori um, and eventually at the right at the end of the episode Shoko enters in her space uh, also at the end of the episode we see and that's the third important point about this episode we see El Elf appearing behind Naruto and talking to him saying that uh, he wants to propose a deal to Naruto to make a revolution in Dorsha so I kinda don't get it this guy El Elf Initially, the guy ap uh, appeared as a faithful Dorshan soldier and as is revealed in the start of this episode, he is quite a good, very good soldier in the Dorshan Empire. But apparently, he wants to, to change Dorsia. Uh, I don't get it why or in what he wants or intends to turn Dorsha in the future however he asking help to Arutu is kinda strange so this, epi this episode mainly is the evacuation pro uh, pr uh, process that those not came to finish because El Elf interrupted that the situation with Aruto that apparently needs, besides being wounded, apparently he needs our cards for human blood. Apparently, after he became the pilot of Valrave, and the third situation is about El Elf that apparently he wants to betray Dorcia and change the ways of Dorcia. Those are the three main points of this week episode so um, there was also some character development uh, but not much um, in any case it was a, a good episode and I think that is also a setup episode for what is coming on the next one so um, it was a good episode enjoyable to watch uh, uh, mainly three points are the principal aspects of this episode and that's it this is my uh, review for Kekumeki Valvrave or Valvrave the Liberator episode 3 hope you enjoyed this video stay well peace